God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that this finds you well. Earlier today, I had this immense feeling of joy. I just knew that the Lord was doing something that came from multiple directions. I left it at that. But right now, I was reminded of how Jesus spoke of the angels rejoicing. And that's in Luke chapter 15. He said in verse 7, I say to you that likewise, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 just persons who need no repentance. People have turned away from their sins deliberately with an intentionality and have fought persistently against things that are not pleasing to God. And that type of boldness, it has reached the heavens that there are angels rejoicing because of sinners having repented and turning to God, seeking his voice, seeking his face, seeking his will over their lives, having that flexibility to do whatever it is that Jesus has said and spoke to us. Sometimes we need to fight our flesh, put that to the side and walk by the spirit. And the rejoicing that I saw coming from heaven, it's something that is happening in multiple locations. The Lord has spoken into certain people's hearts and they have turned away from their sins and are seeking to diligently be holy in the name of the Lord Jesus. So that is a great rejoice. And, and the Lord just wants to highlight his love for people right now. The the scripture that I just read, it comes from Jesus also speaking about it's like having a hundred sheep and leaving the 99 for one that gets away, rejoicing once you have found that sheep. There is something special about the faith walk that many of us have had, and it's that constant searching for the Lord or calling on him and being found by him. A lot of times we think that we choose Christ, but as he told his disciples, I chose you, you did not choose me. That love that comes from the Lord, we have to know that it is greater than how much we could possibly love him. But he died for us. Our faith testifies to what he did. Our faith says I can be drawn to the Lord and find life in him. There have been just great progress results because of this great faith progress results. So I don't know who needs to hear that, especially individuals who may have thought that they're not doing well in the name of Jesus. Maybe they have thought that they are being overlooked or forgotten by God. For those specific people who have repented from their sins, your faith is actually reaching the heavens and the angels rejoice. So I'm just going to end it here with another scripture in Zephaniah. And this is in chapter 3, verse 17. And it says, the Lord your God in your midst, the mighty one will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Uh, remember that the Lord is a father to those of us who have called on his name. The Lord is taking care of us and he is keeping us in his safety. And there's that nurturing aspect for people who have felt like they have been distant from him. Remember that he rejoices over his children. He rejoices over them. So have that relationship. We all need to really work on the closeness that we have with the Lord, being filled with his spirit, being filled with his word, making sure that being in his presence is the top priority. As it says in Psalm 23, my cup overflows. That's the result of having a good shepherd, the Lord as your shepherd. I pray that this blesses you guys because for those of you who have been repenting and who have been seeking the Lord diligently, the heavens are rejoicing over you. So I just thought I was done for a second, but it seems that the Lord is not done. We have to make sure that we seek the light. There are many avenues for darkness, and I'm just seeing now that it is easy to lose track of that light. It is easy to lose track of hope. Even though people can lack faith, the Lord does not ever lack faith in himself. His word is still powerful enough to save. So there's never anything in God that is lacking. He is available for us to grab onto him, to cleave to him. 
to hold on to what is good. He is showing uh, some type of grace that I'm seeing right now. But it's not just about the, the mercy and, and the softness that comes with that. It's actually the strength. Uh, when you see an arm that is flexed and you could just see the muscles that are working, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the arm of the Lord at work. The arm of the Lord being at work. Uh, for those of us who need strength in this hour, courage, boldness, go to the arm of the Lord, which is Jesus Christ. Go to the arm of the Lord and hang on and see how he will lift you from your situation. The strength of the Lord is flexed right now so that we can hold on to him and he can lift you up from any kind of dirt that you have been in. Any kind of stronghold, mental warfare, spiritual warfare, oppression and things that make you feel like you're losing sight or you're not going to be able to accomplish the things of the Lord. He's saying, look what I can do. Look at how strong I am. When you can't I can. When you are weak, I am strong. The Lord is able to do these things because he is God. So he's saying, hold on to his arm and let him carry you. Let him hold you and let him lift you. The Lord is saying you're in for a ride because whenever you're trying to do things by yourself, when you're putting your own efforts to lift things up in your life, to lift people up around you, to give guidance, to give comfort to those around you, the Lord is saying, I can do it better. And who are we to compete against the Lord Jesus? So when he lifts us up, it's going to be alleviating to not have all of the load of the world on you, to not have the whole burden of all these things that you give yourself. It's not going to be on you, but you're letting it go so that the Lord lifts up you and your household, you and your children, you and your relationship, and all of the things that are attached to you. May the Lord lift you up by faith, by that tiny mustard seed sized faith when we come into the lord and when we obey him great and mighty things happen that's just something in addition for this message that i didn't expect but i pray that it blesses and encourages you guys because this is not an hour for us to give up and that's just something that someone needs to hear right now do not give up. The Lord Jesus is available to you and he is able to do it. I pray that this blesses you. Have a great day in the name of Jesus.